karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mero Lectures tunafundisha masomo ya science, physics, chemistry, mathematics pamoja na biology kwa syllabus ya Tanzania na kwa level pamoja na advanced level Dr. Mero Lectures for your better next exams performance subscribe share and like this video Welcome back friends this is advanced biology and we are continuing with coordination session 4 in the previous session we discussed about the uh, structure of the neuron and here i want to do a recap we discussed about the myelin sheath and we said myelin sheath is made up of the white fat and even if we didn't go into detail but uh, the fat in the myelin sheath appears white uh, tunaweza kwenda kusoma mbele lakini kama ambavyo unakumbuka coordination yako ya form 3 tunasema kwamba uh, tukiingia kwenye central nervous system kwa central nervous system tunakuta kuna kwa kuna white matter pamoja na gray matter and we said in the previous section kwamba white matter uh, it is made up of the axons myelinated axons so what makes them white it is because of the presence of the white fatty material uh, which is myelin sheath so what makes them white it is because of the uh, presence of the white fat in the myelin sheath and the gray matter is made up of the unmyelinated dendrites and cell bodies so mostly uh, mostly gray matter is the cell bodies while white matter is the uh, the myelinated axons so we discussed all of those facts in the previous period now I want to do a recap in the functions of the myelin sheath I didn't include this in the previous lecture so myelin sheath has two has three major functions uh, the first function is to increase the speed of conduction of nerve impulse by satatal conduction uh, so how does this uh, uh, how does this occur uh, the satatal conduction and how the speed of conduction of nerve impulse is increased by the myelin sheath just stay with me uh, i will explain this later in the session of the conduction of the nerve impulse and then our second function kaziapilia myelin sheath is to insulate the axon of the neuron kwa sababu gani kwa sababu hii myelin sheath ni fat na kama tumesoma kwa biochemistry kwamba one among the functions of fat is insulation insulation ni to protect kitu ili kisiweze kupata joto so it act as a blanket to the axon so myelin sheath together with the neurilema neurilema uh, is also called uh, the g1 cell in the peripheral nervous system uh, they are the cells which body the myelin sheath so myelin sheath together with the neurilema is known as a medullary sheath and together they function to insulate the axon uh, the third function because the total myelin sheath is to protect against the physical damage because it is fatty so it absorbs shock it acts as the shock absorber uh, to absorb shock which can damage the nerve uh, kama ulikuwa hujui ni kwamba nerve cell ikiwa damaged haiwezi katengenezeka tena na ndio maana damage ikitokea kwenye central nervous system kama kwenye brain au spinal cord au hata damage ikitokea kwenye peripheral nervous system au unakuta mtu anakuwa paralyzed na akiparalyze ndio unakuta hiyo ndio jumla mpaka nakufa why ku paralyze ndio jumla mpaka nakufa that is because to break out to kiharibu nerve cell if we damage the nerve cell at ways to katengeneza tena so that's why it is very important to protect the nerve cell against the physical damage and then we we look at the structure of the axon and then we see we saw about the uh, myelin sheath uh, this which is seen uh, in the color like blue is myelin sheath then you have node of lanvial where we have the gaps and the myelin sheath is not continuous and here this is the illustration of how the myelin sheath is so we have the myelin sheath uh, at the outside which is fat and then in the inside you have the axon so we looked at all of those facts in the previous lecture so now uh, today let's continue with the function of the neurons uh, in the function of neuron uh, the one major function of the neuron is to conduct the nerve impulse so here we have uh, many explanations but what you should know is that the function of neuron is to conduct nerve impulse from one part of the body to the another so simply it connects one part of the body uh, to the another part how it is by conducting the impulse or to conduct the nerve impulse from one part of the body to another so 
kuna maelezo mengi hapo lakini kazi yake kubwa ndio hiyo uh, the special instruction organization of neurons allow them to transmit signal in the form of electric impulse from the brain to the body and back uh, lazima ujue kwamba uh, the impulse within the axon is transmitted as the uh, electric signal is transmitted as electric signal au electric impulse lakini impulse kutoka kwenye axon moja kwenda axon nyingine always inatumia inatumia chemical signal sio electric tena basi ya synapses zenyewe huwa zinakuwa ni electric synapses but mostly most commonly most of the synapses they are chemical synapses kwa hiyo information inatoka uh, kwenye cell body kupitia kwenye axon kwenda kwenye 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 synaptic knob inapita kama nini kama electric lakini ikifika kwenye synapse pale sasa inabadilika kwenda kwa chemical so most oftenly unakuta kuna acetylcholine au kuna other neurotransmitters ambazo zinachukua hiyo hiyo information pale kwenye synapse zinapeleka kwenye synapse ya pili uh, at the post synaptic membrane zile chemicals zikiwa received zinabadilika tena kwenda kwa, kwa nini kwenye nerve impulse we shall discuss this in detail tutakwenda kusoma kuhusu synapse but you should know ni kwamba a nerve impulse is an electric impulse lakini kwenye kwenye synapse always inapita kama chemical impulse so individually a neuron can pass a signal all the way from own dendrite to their own axon terminal you see from the dendrite to the axon terminal but at a higher level neurons are organized in long chains so neuron nozo kuta kuna neuron ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu manake kwa mfano a neuron which is taking impulse from the leg haiwezi kufika mpaka kwenye brain yenyewe so sometimes unaweza kuona kwamba ile neuron imetoka kwenye leg imeenda labda mpaka kwenye pubic region labda kwenye paja pale ime sign up na neuron mwingine neuron mwingine ametoka kwenye paja amefika mpaka kwenye spinal cord kwenye spinal cord ame ame sign up na neuron mwingine a neuron mwingine labda ametoka from the spinal cord to the brain then ni mwandani mnaweza mkaa mna bifurcation bifurcation maana yake zile uh, zile neurons zinakuwa zinapishana neuron iliyokuwa kulia inaenda kushoto iliyokuwa kushoto inaenda kulia lakini ili ni confuse ndio tunataka kujua ni kwamba sometime neuron inaweza ikawa ni wrong inatoa impulse labda toka kwenye brain uh, kwa mfano vagus nerve uh, vagus nerve yenyewe ni ndefu kwa almost even neurons zake pia ni ndefu unakutana toa impulse toka kwenye brain mpaka kwenye stomach lakini ba, uh, most of time unakuta neuron ina synapse na neuron nyingine so neuron mmoja ana synapse na nyingine wanatengeneza a long chain allowing them to pass signal over quick from one uh, one place of the body to the another so one neurons axon will connect chemically to the another neurons then right to the synapse you see we reconnect chemically as i told you that the nerve impulse is electrical impulse but the synapse the uh, nerve impulse inapita kama chemical kwa sababu gani inapopita kwenye axon inapita kama electric kama umeme ikifika kwenye synapse inabadilika kwenda kwenye chemical neurotransmitter zile uh, yani ile impulse inapofika kwenye kwenye synapse ina stimulate the release of neurotransmitter neurotransmitter zikiwa released zikimwagika pale zinamwagika kwenda kwenye post synaptic membrane uh, neuron inayofuata inatengeneza tena nini electric impulse the whole mechanism tunaenda kuiona kwenye synapse jinsi gani anafanya kazi so once neuron uh, will connect chemical to the another neuron and enter at the synapse between them electrically charged chemicals flow from the first neuron electrically charged chemicals you see they are chemicals but they are electrically charged so the electrical charge comes from the nerve impulse uh, flow from the first neuron axon to the second neuron dendrite and that signal would then flow from the second neuron dendrite down it is axon across the synapse into the third neuron dendrite and so on kwa hiyo hicho ndicho ambacho kinafanyika uh, tunakuwa tuna chemicals zinatoka kwenye kwenye axon za axon terminal ya neuron moja zinaenda kwenye dendrite za neuron inayofuata so dendrite za neuron inayofuata na chukua impulse anazipitisha kwenye cell body kwenye axon then tena kwenye axon yake axon yatampata dendrite ya neuron inayofuata and so on so this is the basic chain of the neural signal transmission which is how the brain sends signal to the muscles to make them move and how the sensory organ sends signal to the brain it is important that these signal can happen quickly and they do and they do co impulse always they are, they are very quick uh, in a fraction of seconds tayari ndio maana ukuta ukigusa a hot object soon una remove the hand that means tayari impulse ifika kwenye a central nervous system and most commonly is the spinal cord or the simple reflex action imeshatokea 
a simple flex action hivyo tokea ya taarifa imeudishwa will remove the hand uh, kama wewe leo maana reflex action reflex action ni ile taarifa ambayo wewe inakuwa ina ina bypass the brain kwa inafika kwenye spinal cord lakini haifiki kwenye brain that is reflex action kwa hiyo taarifa nyingine ambazo haziwi has katika mfumo wa reflex zenyewe huwa zinafika kwenye kwenye brain lakini the reflex action huwa haifiki kwenye brain so think of how fast you drop a hot potato before you even realize it is hot kwa mfano ukishika kiazi cha moto maybe uh, soon you wajiko tatu umeshika soon you drop it umekiachia kwa nini umekiachia that is because of the reflex action this is because of the sense organ in the case the skin hot potato kigusa maana kuna kwa skin ambayo inakuwa ime sense la hot send the signal this is hot so in a send the signal to the central nervous system kwamba this is hot to the neurons with the very long axon that travel up to the spine to the brain if this didn't happen quickly people would burn themselves kwa kama kitendo kishon kwa kinatokea kama nake watu wangekuwa wanaungua kutokana na so this is the information flow or information flow in the neuron you see the information comes from the dendrite then it goes to the cell body and the cell body goes to the axon all the way to the synaptic knob so dendrite collect electric signal then the cell body integrates in coming signal and it generates outgoing signal to the axon then axon passes electric signal to the dendrite of the another cell or to the another effector so signal kwenye neuron zote inatokea kwenye dendrite inakuwa corrected to the cell body cell body na integrate then na break up kwenye axon axon huko ni axon terminal ambako inaweza ka connect na other nerve impulse out the effect so uh, in this video let me end up here in the next video we shall be looking at the types of the neurons so we shall see how we classify neurons and uh, uh, classification of neuron according to shape and according to functions and how are they differing from one another so thank you everybody don't forget to subscribe the channel to share this video to your first friends and to click the link below to join my telegram for, group for more discussions and for questions uh, these notes you can find them uh, in my telegram group or you may contact me with the numbers provided in the notes in the in the notes here below you can see my contacts and then you, even in the description below you I, you are, I have put my contact in the, you may contact me for for the need of notes thank you everybody let i wish you nice studies Asante kwa kuongelea channel ya Dr. Mlelo. Ninaamini umeelewa kipindi na kama hujaelewa chochote, waweza kucomment hapo chini. Click link ya kwenye description kujoin Telegram group kwa ajili ya discussion. Usisahau kusubscribe, kushare video kwa marafiki pamoja na kulike video hii.